Hello and welcome to the Entering Enrollment in Attendance City Span Training Module. In this module, you will learn the appropriate steps to take to track your youth participation in the database. This, these activities are done by all of our program partners across the Boston After School and Beyond Network. And what this does is it really provides information on who is being served in the city of Boston by program providers and how often are these youth attending high quality programs. There are five core steps to entering enrollment and attendance in the database. Each of these steps will have their own video following this introduction video so that you can understand the details of implementing these steps in the database. The first is entering site information. So this really allows us to get a strong understanding of what your program does in terms of partnering with Boston Public Schools, um, what grades are you serving, what is the mission of your program. These details really allow us to understand your program and how you are experiencing it. The second step is adding participant data. Um, so this tells the database who you're expecting in your program, first and last name, uh, any sort of demographic information that you collect on your youth participants um, need to be added to the database. And this is the step in which to do so. The third step is creating a program schedule in the database. And the fourth, enrolling youth in that program. The fifth and final step of track and entering enrollment in attendance is actually inputting daily attendance regularly throughout your summer program or your school year program so that you can start seeing attendance trends and understanding average rate of attendance over the course of your program. All right, so now just to ground you in the database and make sure that you kind of just generally know where you're looking when you're accessing the database, I want to point you to a few of the tabs that will be your go-to favorite tabs um, as you experience the enrollment and attendance activities. The first tab is site list. So this is really your touchstone if you're ever lost in the database. Um, or if you are interested in going to another site that you are tracking attendance for, the site list is really where you're going to be going from site to site um, and really the kind of touchstone of the database. The second tab that's going to be really important is your participants and staff tab. This is where you're going to be keeping track of participant information, where the participant information is housed. Um, that's under participants and staff. And this is a good way for you to see if participants are being duplicated, um, etc. So the tab, this tab is a really kind of go-to tab for this, for these steps. The final tab that's going to be important for you is the program list tab. And this is really where you're going to be doing most of the work of the enrollment and attendance uh, entering. Um, program list is where you create the program and where you enroll youth and where you're really tracking the daily attendance. So this is likely going to be the tab you visit the most as you're using the database. Resources for the five steps that we're going to be going over in the next five videos can be found at insight.bostonbeyond.org backslash city span. These are really the five most important critical steps to using the database and so each of them get their own page on the Insight Center. Uh, so all of the information you'll need about doing any one of these steps is available there. Without further ado, let's get into the training videos. To get started, go to boston.cityspan.com. 